Uh, any other stuff you're involved in right now? Um, well, uh, drum drum wise, uh, played with uh, Amy McDonald for a, a year or so. That was really good fun. Um, mm. Just playing in a different way. It wasn't yeah. it wasn't this kind of thing. Exactly. It was just you know playing. Yeah, and, and it was lovely. I yeah, really some brush really words, it. stuff like that. Yeah, those songs yeah. that you know have those parts. On yeah, them and actually, and it came out of the off the back of the acoustic tour. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, a friend of mine who used to be in a play with play bass for Mika mm -hmm. with my wife who's on stage with us tonight okay. um, on keyboards mm. and he came to the show and he said oh, I play with Amy and that she's just sacked her drummer but I didn't really knew you did that softer stuff <laughs> right. because it's like yeah. that's my legacy isn't it <laughs> why he plays soft as well <laughs> right um, and he said oh, come down and mm. so I went down and we got on and it was great mm. we had a good a good, good sort of 20 odd 26 shows mm. over the summer you know festivals good. and stuff and that was really good fun but then I had to hand that over to Matt who's doing it now mm. and they, they start rehearsals mm. next week just before mm -hmm. I get back so I missed I missed mm -hmm. out on that one mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. yeah going back a bit what was it like for you to be with FIDA back in you know that was 2000 something 2001 two three was it it was two days after john killed himself oh grant rang me that and was quite yeah that was too soon yeah <laughs> even for me yeah. uh he rang me and said we we're, i'm going to carry on uh, will you play drums for us and i said yeah 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 but just take some time you know mm. take some time i'm here whenever mm. you need me sort of thing and and it started pretty much straight away um mm. And uh, it was a difficult, it was a difficult time because I was used to being with Skunk and, the, and you know, my Skunk family who were very open to ideas and very um, used to taking ideas off each other and swapping things around and coming up with album, doing everything together essentially, uh, to go into really just being a session musician. But I didn't. I wasn't told. I was. It was a. It was a session musician's position under the umbrella of a band. Yeah. So it was a very. I mean, confused... You were asked to do it. You didn't audition for this or anything like that. No, they wanted you. No. Yeah. So that yeah. makes situ the situation slightly different. Yeah. It made me believe that it was a band situation. Yeah. So then, coming from where I came from, I assumed wrongly that I would have an input in everything, and I didn't. It was. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, I maybe, I maybe didn't appreciate that as much mm. as I should have, because at the end of the day, I was still getting paid for what I love to do. I wasn't digging a ditch, and I know what that's like in the winter, because yeah. I've done it. And, uh, you know, I'm still doing what I love. Um, and I, if I'm honest, I can hold my hands up and say I wasn't fully appreciative of mm. that period. But yeah. I think Comfort in Sound is probably uh, is probably one of my favourite albums. Mm. I think it's an amazing record. Mm. Um, mm. And that was, you know, all about John and his mm. suicide and, uh, you know, another, another somebody that maybe had music support been around then, mm. it could have helped him, but, you know. True. Another friend lost, and a Stuart Cable, another one, you know, mm. another guy. Another friend. Yeah. <laughs> all the drummers that I replaced, they've all passed from yeah. alcohol-related problems, mm. and that's another a, a, another incentive for me to make music support a success. Because it's only it's, natural, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so to finish on a slightly happier note. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's also important. It's also important yeah. to talk about those things. Yeah. Okay, what are the plans for Skunk for the nearest future, or maybe a slightly more distant future? Um, I can I can cover both. I think. I mean, mm. um, after this tour finishes in, I think we've got eight more shows after this one. Go home. We we start doing some songwriting. Um, we're going to release uh, something towards the end of the year. We're going to have this take the summer off um, because we did the last two festival seasons. Yeah. So we just need to step back for a yeah. season and then 2018 we'll be back out on the festivals. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully promoting something new. So right. 
Mm. Um, and that's, yeah, the, the, the future is very much a case of new music, new album. We're not, the, we're not, we can't be that band that just keeps going out on tour on, based on past glories. We can't do that because we'd get bored. Yeah. Never mind the audience, you know. Um, so we, we want to keep writing new stuff for us as much as yeah. everyone else. It's true. Once you get bored, the audience will get they bored. They feel because it straight it away. oozes from the stage, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See it in your face, and yeah. especially if there's screens. We don't have the big production with us now. But mm -hmm. um, when you've got cameras on you, especially, you know, I remember seeing Larry Mullen, who I love. Um, but I remember seeing his face on this enormous screen in the, in, stood in the middle of this stadium who we supporting him with feeder and with skunk we both we both bands supported mm. you too and and they just looked so bored mm. and i thought wow mm. i don't i don't want to do that and his mind was some other place probably yeah. maybe maybe not but his he i was yeah. like, i felt like saying larry <laughs> come on <laughs> look look like you 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 know you're happy about the yeah. however many millions it is you're earning tonight, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, that's, that's really rotten, but um, you know what yeah. I mean. You yeah, know, there's, yeah. I think, of course. I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't like going to see bands and they just uh, gaze at their shoes or yeah. I want to see a performance. Unless it's Echo and the Bunnymen, they're supposed to gaze at their shoes. Yeah, they're allowed. <laughs> Echo and the Bunnymen are allowed. They created this. Yeah, they, yeah, they invented it. So. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> thanks a lot. Best of luck with all the plans. Best of luck with music support, with Skunk, with Tuna Fish. Thanks very much. And see you around next time. Yeah, and best thanks. of luck tonight, of course. Thanks for coming down and thank doing you. all of this. Thanks man. for your time. No, I appreciate thank you. it. Thank you.